Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about the websites in different languages. So we know that internet is pretty international and sometimes we're spending so much time actually going back and forth, translating different paragraphs or trying to use Google Chrome or particular browsers to translate it as fast as possible. However, today I want to show you one plugin that we've created and that's going to help you with translating different websites and actually consuming information in different languages, whether you want it for efficiency or just diving into some languages or learning more. So here we're going to talk today about A and B web search, which is a very versatile tool. There will be a few videos on our channel about this particular plugin, but today I want to focus on our translation feature. So for example, let's say I was researching some articles and I stumbled across a German article. And here I just copy pasted the whole content in German, I have no idea what is going on here. So I can just copy paste uh, the text here and ask uh, translate the article um, and compose a short summary. So here we go. And just as you can see, that is just German text, which I literally copy pasted from the article website. And then the short one line prompt, which was translate the article, compose a short summary. You can just translate the article or you can just ask for the uh, short summary depending on your needs. So just in a few seconds, we already have our translation. So in this particular case, I chose a pretty short part of the article. So we can actually scan through the whole part. However, we did ask for the summary and we have a much shorter version just right here. I think that is a game changer for people who have to research uh, things in different languages and also for people who are trying to learn the language. So that is a great, great tool. For that, and I also wanted to show you a little bit of different approach of how to use this particular feature of translating different websites. Usually, what I prefer to do is to start a new chat to make sure that our different prompts do not clash. Our A and B web search is activated on the top. If you don't have it, just go to plugin store and download it in a few simple clicks. And now I'm, I'm going to talk about this particular article in Spanish. So, A, what I want to showcase that uh, the plugin can work with different languages and B, that you can either copy and paste the information that you want to work with in the chat, or you can just copy and paste the link and ask for the same thing, for example, summary of the article. Of course, you can ask for key learnings, you can ask for translation, you can ask for particular questions that you're looking for. That is just a simple showcase what the plugin is capable of, but I'm assuring you that there are a lot of ways to actually get as much helpful and useful information as you want. So here we are working with this link and just ask it for the summary. So it's going to be a little bit quicker since we are not translating the whole article. We are asking just for the condensed information from the website. And just in a bit, we already have basically the intro and then a few points summarizing the article post-pandemic work trends, survey, challenges, growth, hybrid work model. So basically what we did, we just literally pasted the link. As for the summary, now we have bullet points on the topic based on the article so we can extract all the needed information without uh, translating it, going back and forth within different browsers or translators or trying to understand with our limited capacity of particular languages what is going on in that piece of content. I really hope this is going to help you whether you're using it just to dive into the information or learn the language. I hope it's going to be super helpful for you, save lots of time in case you face any issues. Please feel free to contact our support team and see you later guys. Bye bye.